All right. So I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny at all. In fact, when they see the, the, my records, Vittorio Martinelli from Dr. Butler, Dr. James Butler, Dr. Tim Troiano, Dr. Pete Vermis, Dr. Sharon Armani, Armini, all Columbus dental dentists and surgeons, and Dr. Grosco, another, he's an endodontist, and Joseph Haas, H-A-S-S-E, another endodontist. It's not funny at all. But somewhere along the way, they conspired. I don't know if they thought I had a lot of money or if they wanted to set me up for the crimes that they were doing because this Troy Speakman collaborating with a group of people one of which was Greg Gabriel Greg Gabriel a waiter a faggot an uncertified person in a gym I've had many certifications I ran I was running Stafford Pool and Fitness when I was in my early 20s I had worked with power lifters, bodybuilders. I knew Alex Jawoa, G-I-O-A, who was a big time competitor. I'm not trying to brag on what I knew. My results spoke for themselves. And this, these people, whether it was led by Phil Massinopoli, whether it was led by Greg Gabriel, or whether it was led by the most disgusting upheaval in the history of mankind. Because what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to beat up a beast of a woman? There is no way in a million years that the trio of Kathleen Spielvogel, Christine Spielvogel, and Patty Herrera three of the most disgusting visual humans you'd ever run into in your life and I handled them professionally and they sub subsequently went out of their way to oust me out and be part of a major conspiracy because I knew I had said to them several times I said hey you live in Grove City these firemen in Grove City are sick there's a Cheryl Cook there that I know is in trouble. And then he said, how so? And I said, well, I know she was on Adult Friend Finder. Me personally, when I was on there, it was for single. And when I was on there, it was like 2003 or two. And I was never into black penis. And however it went down, a fag guy named Troy Speakman, court clerk, who was a fag court clerk for Virgil Morgan Jr., who was a fag court clerk for Ben, Ben Rupp, who was a fag court clerk for Ryan K. Hess of Tattletale Alarm, who was a fag court clerk and fake sheriff for Urban Meyer who was a fake sheriff for when Virgil Morgan beat the shit out of his girl because those pictures were online and it made news and you know when they say it's none of your business well it works both ways say if I came along and punched you in your fucking face for beating up a girl, then it's not anyone's business either, right? That's how it works. But the thing what well, all you fags do, you do it sneaky. Because if you did it in broad daylight, where other people can see, someone would hit you over the fucking head with a, with a kitchen sink, Virgil Morgan. See, see, that's the thing. 
that's the thing, Phil Mastinopoli. When you say it's none of our fucking business, you made it my business by attacking me because I know that you're a pedophile and, and beat up your daughters. So how about if I hit you in the head with a fucking concrete block, Urban Meyer? Is that none of your business? Say I hit you, say I'm a piano mover and I wait for you to walk down the street on High Street and I perfectly time releasing that fucking rope and crushing you with the piano, with a grand piano. So fucking hard that you actually have your face print, your stupid looking vermin face print, like Changs of Hollywood. Is that none of, isn't that none of your business either? Because you guys got your head up your ass and you've been beating up girls your whole life and Brian Cass, as I've said before, if he's ever to go on a real TV because because Brian has you're full of shit, the cable shit you do, why don't you have your Aunt Tessie nude with nipple rings on talking to you about you? Why don't you have your grandma sickle out showing her vagina how to do a checkup and then talk to you? Hey Ben, why don't you have Patty Herrera, your sister, showing people how to shave their ass with a mirror? Hey Ben Rupp, why don't you give a course on how to beat the shit out of your wife and who's who to pay in a local politics? In other words, the sequence. Who do you pay first, Ben? And whose dick do you suck next, Ben? Because it is my business, you fucking prick, because when your wife told me you were beating the shit out of her and I wrote her a note saying, listen, if he ever puts your, his hands on you, because I know he's a drunken, he's a drunken slob, to let me know, because Ben, I would knock you the fuck out so quick, Ben, that you wouldn't be able to even say your name. Because you have trouble saying your own fucking name, even with no one touching you, Ben. You're such a fuck up. And Urban Meyer, you're the same fucking guy. You are the drunk hillbilly from not the FBI. You guys are all shit. I'm, I'm gonna keep coming and coming and I don't mean with my penis either. I am not backing up. I know, I know you abuse women and I know women are dead. And if you think it's none of your business, good. Next time I see you, and I hope I have a fucking piano with me. I'm going to drop it right on your fucking head and say, I'm sorry. I thought you ordered a piano. I thought you ordered a grand piano, Troy Speakman, because you talk like this all the time. So someone must have beat the fuck out of you already.